not saying I'm coming back and playing. I don't know. I don't know what my future holds. I don't even know when I'm free. My last year will be played with my son wherever Bronny is at. That's where I'll be. I'll do whatever it takes to play with my son for one year. It's not about the money at that point. Mr. Smith, Stephen A, yes. uh, where do you want to see LeBron end his career? I want to see him end his career. Uh, I, I would prefer L.A. because I like to be in L.A. and where LeBron James is going to be relevant. So if he's in L.A., that'll be an excuse for me to be in Southern California. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, Molly, I'm over it. I'm over cold weather. I'm trying to get the hell away from cold weather it. as much I as have, I possibly can. I have can. business in uh, Miami, too, okay. tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so listen, well, well, that's right. Well, well, I'm, I'm dead serious about it. But, you know, damn right I'd be in Florida or L.A. I'm just over cold weather. I'm just telling y'all right now. I mean, it's I going it. to happen. It's going to happen, okay? Now, having said all of that, I have to tell you something that I did, KP, and I did something I've never done uh, in these years yesterday. I made a few calls about Bronny James. And here's the reason why. If you notice, and please put Kendrick Perkins back up on the screen so I can see him, please. I've been one, if you notice, I've never spoken about LeBron James' son. And the reason why is because LeBron is such an iconic figure. I just felt that, you know what, let his son live his life. You know, if he's this mm -hmm. good, we'll find out about him. We'll see soon enough. But, you know, LeBron is a great dad. He clearly loves his kid. I love seeing him at the games cheering his son on, on his son on. I, hope, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to see his relationship with Bronny. But I've heard LeBron speak about it so much, I decided, look, I've never seen this kid play, and when I'm in L.A., I could go see him, but I stayed away on purpose, because we know if I walk into a gym, they're going to know I'm looking to see what this kid is worth, okay? And I don't want to do that. So I called instead, and I got to tell you what I've heard. He's eligible for the NBA come 2024 unless the NBA eradicates that one year out of right. high school rule and makes it sooner, which they're contemplating doing. I don't know whether they'll do it or not. Let me tell you what I've heard about this kid. And you know because you follow all of this. The kid's about six feet four. Okay, I've never stood next to him, so I don't know. Um, he's about six feet four. I heard he can handle the rock. I heard he's a much better shooter at this stage in his life than LeBron was at that particular moment in time. He's got good That's NBA right. size. They said he's got good NBA size. He can shoot. He can handle. And he is a big-time defender. The issue is he doesn't have that splash to his game, per se, that swag, that, that, mm -hmm. that box office appeal or something like that. But I hear the expectation is that he will be a pro, that at the very least a second-round pick and could end up before all is said and done over the next year and a half being a mid-to-high first-round pick. So when LeBron mm -hmm. says... I want to play with my son. It's not beyond the realm of comprehension that this kid is going to get drafted. And if he gets drafted, the one player that you can guarantee can go anywhere he wants to go is LeBron. Not just because of his skill set. LeBron don't even care about the money. He don't need it. He'll actually go to a team for free just for $1 just to play with his son. It's not far fetched, and I just, I, I just, it, I just wanted to lead a kid alone, let him live his life. But with LeBron talking about him, okay, it's time to look at his skill set. So I called <laughs> up and asked, and there's some people that like this kid. They say he's got that potential. No, no it's, it's, it's some people that actually love Bronny, right? But okay. here's the thing. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you. We all know LeBron James is a smart individual, right, Stephen A. Yeah. And Brilliant. what he's doing Brilliant. as a father, what is he what he's doing as a father right now, was a that was a strategic move by him. What he's saying okay. is is that he basically guaranteed that his son is going to get drafted, and that's a hell of a move. That's powerful because he's saying whoever drafts my son will get, get me. me. We come as a package deal. So that's almost guaranteeing. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is a is a is a for sure. Right. But it's almost a ninety percent chance but, that now teams are saying, "I get a chance to get LeBron but, James and Bron." I'm getting that. Let me tell you where I give LeBron 
much respect and credit, not disagreeing with what you said. But LeBron don't want his kid in the NBA if he don't believe his kid deserves it. He wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want to expose him to that. If LeBron wants his kid there, LeBron believes that. No, they shouldn't. They really, really shouldn't. Because I, if you want LeBron, you should want him uh, because of his gate attraction, his marquee, the money that he'll bring to the local economy and stuff like that, because he is King James, OK? And we know what he brings. But as a basketball team, they're so young and they're competitive and they're considerably cheaper, and more importantly, you know, you're Dan Gilbert. Let's face reality. He never has, and nor will he ever have the greatest relationship with LeBron. It was a business arrangement. That's why LeBron ended up going back, because, listen, it was in his best interest to go and deliver on a promise he had made to the city from the time that he got drafted. And Gilbert, after all of that nonsense he said about LeBron James, ain't no coming back from that. We all understand that. But I want to do a favor for LeBron James and his peeps here right now. LeBron James ain't thinking about leaving the Los Angeles Lakers to go to Cleveland or anywhere else. And in fairness to LeBron James, his history has been his team being competitive and at least in championship contention before he departed. That was the case when he departed Cleveland. It was the case when he departed Miami. They lost right. in the finals, okay? Now he's in Los Angeles, okay? So it's not like it, these stories, and, and, and this is the thing that where I, 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 like I said, usually I can be critical of this man, free throws or selective perimeter shots when he should go to the hole or whatever. But you don't hear me talk about his character mm -hmm. because I don't think there's anything to denigrate, right. okay? And I've never done that, and I'm never going to do that to that brother because I think he's a great, great man. But this is the thing that really irks my nerves. Who wouldn't want to play with their son? If your son could ball and you had an opportunity to play with your son, mm -hmm. that's all LeBron yes. James is talking about. He's saying, look, man, if my son is good enough to get in the league, uh -huh. anywhere he went, I, I, I would want to be there. Now, there are some people who were cynics. And they were like, well, he's saying that to get his son in the league because right now he ain't projected to be some first-round pick. So if you sit up there and say, I'm going to come wherever my son goes, that makes him all of a sudden incredibly attractive because somebody could get LeBron James. I didn't take it that way at all. I took it on face value and with LeBron meaning exactly what he said. Who would, If I had a son and I was in LeBron James' position and my son, I thought, had the potential to be in the NBA and I could last long enough to be a Ken Griffey Jr. with a Ken Griffey Sr., uh -huh. okay? Something yeah. along those lines. And I could pull that off? I would jump at that. And I don't think there's anything remotely wrong with LeBron saying that, nor does that mean that he's plotting to leave the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't believe that to be the case. I just say he should think about it because the way they look right now, the future don't look too damn bright for them. That's my personal opinion. But I didn't say he said that. So that's where I'm at. You gave me so, you gave me, hey Swaggoo, it's good to be on the show with you again, my friend. Um, what up? You gave what me up, so man? much there though, Stephen A. Sure, sure, sure. You're giving me a lot with the pink on yeah. your cheeks too to go Come with your outfit. You giving me a lot, you give me a lot too. All right, I, I feel I you. Just, she curved. Listen, she curved. LeBron James' character, A1. Th yeah. Thank you, Swaggoo. That's right. A1, we trust his she character. Curved. However, <laughs> right. from you, yeah. the notion that wanting to play with his son as a sincere desire but also knowing the power of his platform and who he is, the idea that those are separate things to me, I am surprised that you would go there and be so altruistic in that approach. Call me the cynic. Yes, because as soon as the comments were made, first thing I did, class of 2023, right. uh, ranked 43 according to ESPN.com, right. that would be one Bronny James. That's and right. so to me, not that he can't excel, but there is some work to do on his end. No question. If he's going to be an NBA That's what player. I've been told. But I, I don't, I took all of it. All of it worked together. Mm -hmm. Yes, he sincerely would like to do that, and that would be very special. He has given his life to the game of basketball, and his family has also sac sacrificed. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm LeBron, and I'm going to say what I want and see how this can positively affect my desire. They work together, no? Well, you could say, before you go, Swagoo, you could say it works together, but here's the disaster okay. for LeBron. And I'm not... Uh, listen, I want to preface my comments by saying I've never seen Bronny play. Okay. On purpose. Okay. Because his father is so huge. Never will live If up. you put him in that spotlight, I think it's so unfair to a kid. And I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. I'm just your humble old Stephen A. But if I walk into a gymnasium, mm 
uh -huh. where Bronny James is. Everybody knows why the hell I'm there. So I'm not trying so to. Hang out with Drake? I'm, I'm not, no, no, everybody knows what time it is. So I'm not trying to do that. But I will say this. It doesn't look good for LeBron if he pushes for his son and his son doesn't measure up. And so what I'm saying, that's why I believe he's sincere when he says, I want to play. He does. He doesn't. LeBron doesn't strike me as somebody that wants to gas up his son if he doesn't believe his son is worth it. If he believes that his son wouldn't in no way measure up to being just an NBA player, to being worthy of being a first-round pick. I don't think LeBron does that. I don't think he puts Bronny in that situation because we all recognize, at the very least, okay. he's a damn good father, actively involved with his son, and he wouldn't do that. So I, I don't will, believe I'm a, that. I'm going to tee this up to you, but the one thing that I will say, Stephen A., is the idea that this timeline is going to be perfect in terms of Bronny being a one-and-done type player may not come to fruition. Look at the path. We'll go like to Gary Payton Jr., yeah, right? right? Look at the path that he's had to sure. go. We don't know, Swagoo, how Bronny will pan out. And so if, by chance, yes, he's an NBA player by someone's estimation, but maybe not someone else's, I just think having his dad give him the vote of confidence matters. Okay. And so it works together, Swagoo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's be real, y'all. We see our kids uh, a lot better than most people do. And mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, I've seen Bronny James play. He don't look like an NBA player to me right now. Mm -hmm. Now, that, that doesn't mean he can't progress into that. But based on these cats that I'm seeing in high school, I saw Zion Williams in high school. That looked like an NBA player to me. I saw Anthony Davis in high school. That looked like an NBA player to me. Bronny can play, and I'm right. here to cast no shade on Bronny's ability. He can hoop. But Bronny not even the best player on Sierra Canyon's team. Mm -hmm. when we start talking about the NBA. Now, LeBron being his father obviously plays a role into his opportunity Absolutely. getting into the NBA with relationships and, and, and the ability to get better because he's right. going to be exposed to the best you have in order to get good enough or better in order to make an NBA roster or have a chance to get an NBA trial. Now, to the question, should the Cavaliers yeah, want LeBron that. to return? <laughs> Always.